guys, it's me, Techno Girl Angie, and I'm going to go out for a walk, <sighs> make sure I haven't forgotten anything, I don't think I have, alright, let's go. Alright you guys, so we are out here, it's rained for the past couple of days, so it's not cold though, not at all, kind of nice, weird, my GPS is not able to find me. Let me go out and come back. There we go. Yeah, so, um, first of all, good morning, guys. So it's been raining. Um, Monday and yesterday, and um, I usually like to get out in the rain, but um, I don't know, it just seemed, it was cold, you know, it's never cold in California, but um, no, I take that back, in Southern California, but um, it was cold it was wet and i wasn't feeling too good um on monday there was something going on with my stomach i think it's this <coughs> pardon me new uh medication that my doctor gave me it's you know it's kind of weird on the stomach if you don't eat then uh it does something it's almost like uh taking aspirin on an empty stomach it's really difficult for me to describe the feeling it's like you have an empty stomach and those two aspirin are just sitting there down there in your stomach dissolving uh, like acid or something it's weird anyway uh, I've been having a good time on um, YouTube lately. Over the weekend, I had real much fun, a lot of fun. Um, it was um, it was uh, these live streams that folks are doing, and I kind of encountered a lot of uh, channels that. I don't know what you call it, but basically what they've been doing um, is, uh, you know, they're supporting other channels and they're getting their supporters to um, go over to other channels that are in the live stream and um, subscribing and stuff like that. So I've gained a lot of subscribers. I don't know if these people necessarily uh, do walking and talking videos. Well, not do them, but you know, enjoy 
entertaining them. So, so uh, yeah, I just, I've been on there and I had a little confrontate with uh, one YouTuber her and her daughter started clowning me. They really went in on me. So that was the last live I had attended. No, it wasn't. It wasn't because I had talked to uh, MJ Mukbangs and um, I think that was the last live stream I did. And, um, you know, it's been a lot of fun getting ready for Brittany's wedding. And, well, I'm, she's getting ready for her wedding. I'm just anticipating it. So, oh, um, it turns out that we're going to have a new uh, building management company. I don't really care for change. But my concern is, what does that mean for me, the new management company? And, uh, you know, I wrote out to my, um, well, she's not my case manager because you guys know I don't have a case manager anymore. They got rid of the last one. Oh, I hate when that happens. But there is one lady down there that um, she seems pretty I don't know what you call it but you know she answers my any questions that I might have about um, you know about what's going on and I had told her you know hey um uh, what does this mean? You know, the notice that they gave us, what does this mean for us? Because it wasn't just like a a quick memo. It wasn't that. It was like uh, two pages long. Well, a page and a half, I should say. And, you know, so they're like, oh, new management company. Uh, everything's gonna stay the same. It's just a new management company. But, you know, when you think about it, in the scope of things, especially at my age, <laughs> things don't stay the same. If, uh, if it's a new management company, chances are they're going to do things a little bit more different than the previous management company. All right, guys, so... I'm not going to go all the way to the corner because there was another car accident at the intersection of Haskell and, um, and Lassen. And they repaired the fence. So, you know, I get paranoid, so I stay away. I know the chances of them having another accident at that corner are very slim but I just don't take I don't take any chances so we're just gonna go up here I just turned around we're gonna go up here and we're going to uh, walk towards Woodley and Maybe if I have the courage, <laughs> we can uh, go in through the uh, through the Woodley fence, the Woodley gate. <clears throat> so I hope everybody had a so far so good week. I know the time changed on Sunday, and it's always a not a, a big deal to your body, but it's a change. And um, I believe that you guys, that you guys, <laughs> me too, <laughs> but I believe that we are waking up an hour earlier. Am I? Or are we sleeping later? I don't know. <laughs> I, I know they say spring up, fall back. So 
if the clocks went ahead one hour, when it's six o'clock, it's really five. So yeah, I guess we wake up earlier. But uh, it never has an effect on me. Well, not since I've been, uh, you know, not working. <laughs> because, um, you know, I get up basically at my leisure, but I try to, um, I try to get up. You remember last year, I was practicing that get up at five o'clock and four o'clock and I was doing all these exercises and so I was getting up doing my exercises and then I would do the walk well like I said uh, the uh, time change didn't really have an effect on me not that I could tell Oh boy, so they did another, um, another, uh, I guess you could call it an eviction sweep, because uh, a, a nice group of people have just moved out of my building. Well, mine and building five, I'm building four. And, uh, you know, it's kind of not sad, but you don't want to lose your friends and, uh, well, friends and neighbors, <laughs> I should say. They're not really my friends. I don't have a lot of those, but, you know, it is sad to see people lose their place of, you know, their homes. So... That's Steve's loud ass car. I've been watching um, on Netflix this uh, program called Ozark. And it's got, uh, oh, what's his name? Bateman. Is it Justin Bateman? I think it's Justin Bateman. And, uh, his wife. I don't I never did like that actress. But him, her, and they have two kids. And um he uh he um he's an accountant and uh, he works for the Mexican drug cartel. And my daughter, Brittany. She's the one who had me out there watching it. So I watched it um, Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. Well, it could have been, was it Sunday night? Maybe I started it Sunday night. I don't remember. But uh, it's a pretty interesting um, show. It's a series or a mini series, I guess you could call it. And um, it's got. Uh, two seasons already but the third season starts on March 27th so that's something I'm looking forward to because uh, the way that it ended the way the season two ended uh, was pretty interesting there's a character in the show and his name is Camino Del Rio. And he was in the first season and I think some of the second seasons. And uh, he ends up getting killed. He ends up getting killed. And I liked his character. I thought he was very suave and debonair and I like this character. So again, I am at an impasse, not impasse, what is it called? A crossroads? No. 
I'm gonna walk a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, I really don't wanna go to the corner. And I'm not going to go to the corner. I don't know, we can try it, let's try it. Let's try it, let's, 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 let's have me face my fear, okay? I'm gonna go on down here and uh, I'm gonna try to do this corner. But anyway, I was thinking in this uh, program that I'm watching right now, uh, well, that I just finished the second season, the Ozark, or Ozark. Um, you know, where these people live, it's really a very uh, secluded, they're secluded areas because folks are getting killed and bodies are being disposed of. And it's not even secretly because it's such a remote area. Uh, you know, they're able to, to perform the murder and then dispose of the bodies like it's not a big deal. Like, you know, well, like taking out the garbage. You know what I'm saying? What does that smell? They got a bad sewage smell over here. Okay, we made the corner. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, we're, we're past it. Fear conquered. So yeah, they are just, um, because the houses, everything seems like all of the places that, um, that they uh, film at. When I say film, I mean the scenes the pit where these people live and everything. They're also secluded. And it's all off of uh, Lake Missouri, I guess. And um, and yeah, these folks are just, you know, you go up in somebody's house, there's this one little girl, she talks so much shit. And I'm like, why is she, why is she talking to people like this when they can just shoot her and uh, and put her away? man and then there's this one guy he was an FBI agent and once again in a secluded area with a known felon that's on parole and he says something to the guy and uh, you know he's just talking shit talking shit to this felon parolee and uh, the guy just snapped and he hit him with a tackle box and when he realized what he had done he's like oh fuck now I gotta kill him <laughs> and so he killed a federal agent but you know not to worry he got his comeuppance later on morning So that was good. What is this man doing? Leaning on his car. Lord. All these, oh, he's smoking. Girl, bye. <laughs> so, seems like the workers on this military campus are no longer walking out to the street to smoke their cigarettes. Remember, <coughs> pardon me, remember the other day when we were walking and talking and I told you guys that I was curious to know what the people who, who work on base and smoke cigarettes how they get to outside of the base, smoke their cigarettes, and back to their workspace within the time frame of a 10 minute break or a 15 minute break. 
and I found out from uh, one of the ladies who works in the like the middle of the base and she smokes cigarettes she so I just jump in my car so she drives off base to smoke a cigarette I wonder if they can smoke in their cars if I had a new car if I had a new car I wouldn't want to smoke in it uh, when I was uh, when I was driving um, because my car wasn't new <laughs> I would go out to my car and smoke all the time but I don't think I don't think they're gonna let you do that here I think it's about the cigarette smoke because you gotta leave your car, right? So yeah. Anyhow, <sighs> you know I haven't walked. I haven't been walking that fast. Pardon me. Um, I'm way out of wind. A lot of pretty clouds in the sky. What's well, not necessarily pretty, but there's some white fluffy ones and some dingy gray ones. Just kind of a mixture. Oh, I can't. I, I can't win for losing when I stop relaxing. Then the cars are coming. I basically want to um, let me get out of the way because I get splashed with water. And then that'll be a problem. Okay, it looks like we can go across now. So, um, yeah, I was gonna go down and uh, try and meet with um, a case manager today and see if they would uh, I want to see the Oasis room, which I haven't seen yet. So I might just, I don't know. I got to upload this, this video. I don't know what I want to do. Shout out to Team Mojo. I miss you, girl. I know we go back and forth on, uh, not Instagram, Facebook. We go back and forth on Facebook and basically that's it. I know she's busy doing a lot of stuff pretty much for her kids. She's a school teacher. I told y'all that. But yeah. So shout out to her. I didn't do spring cleaning I guess you could call it good morning good I guess you could call it spring cleaning is it spring I don't I don't even know good morning I don't even know so I did some deep cleaning because um, I had to get these documents. Remember I told you I had met with the case manager and she needed all these documents. And so I had to find them. And so I found a lot of stuff that I don't even need anymore. Life insurance policies that lapsed, uh, car insurance documents, <laughs> and uh, just documents from, you know, when I was receiving mail, it's a at the shelter this crazy stuff that I don't need anymore but I always get paranoid about throwing that stuff away thinking like well maybe maybe I'll need it one day so I don't know we'll see I haven't really thrown it away it's kind of just collected <laughs> over in a corner in my apartment but you guys know my place is small and 
I really can't afford to to keep all that stuff and you know space wise but um, you know when I get my groceries and things um, that always uh, those bags you know they they collect up <laughs> because I got my groceries the other day and it wasn't a lot of groceries but they came from Vons. I'm gonna tell you guys something about Vons. They must have an abundance of these bags because for three of my items, they each had a separate bag. One was a five ounce jar of ginger, powdered ginger. Another one was a little package, 13 ounce package of dry salami. And then another one was a cheese and sausage, not sausage, but you know those like um, Slim Jims? It was cheese and sauce, cheese and Slim Jim packets. It was about four of them. And they each were in a bag by themselves. So, needless to say, I had a lot of bags that I had to get rid of. And that's fine. I need to get rid of them, I need to get rid of them. Okay, we're gonna try it downstairs. Bird. goodness for that all right you guys that is it for today's video and I'll see you in the next one bye